All right. Well, a new study asserts that COVID boosters for college students is an unethical risk. Now, what does that mean? It means that it is not ethical to force them to take a booster or else risk disenrollment. Researchers at Research One Universities conducted this study. What these researchers did was they analyzed how many college age students will be hospitalized from COVID without these boosters or the full vaccination versus how many will be injured by the vaccine. Now we have established because Pfizer told us that there are such thing as adverse reactions. They call them SAE, serious adverse events, right? Or effects. We do know that the population more prone to myocarditis is boys in their teens or just after. So basically college age. So right in this wheelhouse. Yes. Yeah. So given this population that given that they are more prone to adverse reactions, but less prone to hospitalization due to COVID, what is the ratio? It's actually very shocking. For every one hospitalization prevented, there will be 18 to 98 serious adverse effects. Wow. That is an extremely unfavorable ratio, right? Data directly from Pfizer's own published SAEs, the serious adverse events that we talk effects from their own clinical trials, which we have gone over on the show many times. And again, they say that they calculated 19 to 98 SAEs based on a university population of 30,000 students. Wow. So again, of those, only one has the risk of hospitalization, yet far more have a risk of SAE.